going to do a little bit of CAD computer aided design today and a little bit of CAM computer aided machining so that I can start cutting metal with my Sio X5 Pro CNC machine. First, an explanation. When I say CNC machine, what I mean in this case is a computer control milling machine. CNC is an old term for computer numerical control, which makes sense when only a few tools in the shop were controlled by a computer. But now my 3D printer and my laser cutter are also controlled by a computer. If I have a lay, it would be CNC, so the term makes less sense now. These days, when most people say a CNC machine, they probably mean a CNC milling machine or router. CNC is subtractive, it takes material away. 3D printing is additive, it adds material. Otherwise, they are pretty similar, just a robot entry that you send XYZ movement coordinates to. Only one robot has a squirty thing, and one robot has a spinny thing. The easiest way to think about CNC is it's a blind, stupid carving robot. You can have it carved whatever you want, but it can't see, so you have to tell it exactly where the object you want carved is. You have to tell it what the material is made of and you have to tell it what kind of carving tool it's holding. A 3D printer, on the other hand, is basically just square hot plastic here and that's it. So our first step today is CAD. We are going to tell our Sio X5 Pro CNC machine what shape we want carved. Then we are going to bring that shape over to CAM. And in CAM, we are going to say what kind of material it is, how to carve it, and what kind of tool we'll be doing the carving. That will give us two paths and speeds. Basically just a string of numbers for the Sio X5 Pro to read off a USB stick. Today, I'll be using Fusion 360 for both the CAD and CAM. It's not my favorite software. I don't like cloud-based software tools at all, so I rarely use it. That's why I'm a little clumsy with it. In the future, we'll have a look at other CAD or slash CAM tools you can own and run offline on your own computer. I learned how to do all this from Aaron Powder of the Design Creativity and Technology channel on YouTube. Aaron has the patience of a saint. He teaches shop class to high school students in Australia. And I just have to say those students are really lucky. It took me months to learn this. I really struggled at times. And Aaron sent custom videos and walked me through the whole thing. And I'm so grateful to him for his time and expertise. Any mistakes in these videos are mine. Trust me, he showed me how to do it right. I just tend to forget, okay? Here we go! Okay, today we are going to use uh, Fusion 360 to create an ANSI file for this simple bottle opener. Okay, let's create a sketch. Let's select the bottom plane and then create a 2 point rectangle. Okay, let's select 13.5 and And then we are going to raise, uh, extrude it, raise it up to 12 millimeter. Okay, this is a general box for you to know the precision of our simple bottle opener. Then I'm going to import it. And you see this dialog box, you go down to scale plane XY. We are going to change it to from 1 to 1.6. And let's adjust it. Bit to fit the canvas about that.
Okay, now it's done. So <clears throat> here we got the model, and we're going to change from modeling uh, to manufacture. So my friend Alan, he's also a YouTuber, and he teaches uh, high school students how to use CNC machine. Hi, I'm a beginner, so high probably is worse than his student, my skill. But he's very good at this. He shared his uh, cam poses file with me, style LNC V2, and he shared his tool file with me because we use the same brand of CNC machine. We use style. A different model his x7 my is x5 anyway let's get to business let's go to setup new setup now we see this stock we are going to put the coordinate in the center you can put it at the corner but i'm going to just to leave it at the center next we are going to uh, leave, uh, change the stock bottom offset to 4 mm going to leave some space down there and WC as offset one because it's default G54 and two is G55 and so on. So we're going to click OK and then we're going to go to 2D face. As I said, my friend has shared his <clears throat> tool library with me. So I'm just going to use uh, the six millimeter uh, M mil tool because that's uh, what I got from Taobao. Then next, we are going to pass this. For the first layer, I think the pass extension is around 6 to 10, so I'm going to make it 6 millimeters. Okay, let's simulate that. I see the line is going out the range but not too far from it and this is what I want okay next this cylinder you see if you want to draw a hole in Fusion 360 you're going to pour that out okay already selected it automatically selected the same tool for me and because I don't have a tool changer I'm going to use the same tool for this Pitch is uh, how deep it cuts for every time. So I'm going to change it to 0.75. Direction climb, yes. Okay. Click. So, right. Let's simulate that. You can simulate the whole process, but I'm. I think it's too time consuming. For it and you will get bored you can actually simulate from the beginning <laughs> next we are going to clear up the extra myth uh, around the bottle opener we are going to do the adaptive clearing and we are going to select the yeah okay anyway. And the automolo, I'm going to change to 1.5 mm. It's 25% of the diameter and stock to lift zero. Okay, let's simulate that. You see the yellow lines here? I'm going to clear it a bit. Okay, next I am going to do the contour.
Okay, let's see my little dog again. Hmm, fear of the yellow line, right? Okay, let's generate that. Let's uh, click post process first. And as you see, I choose the South CNC LNC V2 file. I'm going to change the name to 103. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, we have our NC file on our USB stick. That file says what shape you want card and how. Next video, I'm going to put this in my Style X5 Pro CNC machine and tell it where the object I want card is. That's a little more tricky than it sounds, but I'll show you how I do it. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.